Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the all new Gateway Max or the UXG Max, which was released about a month ago. The UXG Max comes in at $199 USD, and this doesn't have a controller locally hosted on the device. So unlike the UDM consoles, we're going to either have to use the official hosting, a cloud key Gen 2 Plus, have our Unify network controller on a server, or use some other third party like Hostify. In this video, we're going to be using the Gateway Max as our firewall, as well as the official Unify cloud hosting. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at MacTelecomNetworks.com. If you'd like to support my channel, I do have affiliate links down in the description below. And we also do have a Discord if you want to be a part of the community. And this is the Gateway Max. It features one 2.5 gigabit WAN port in four 2.5 gigabit LAN ports. One of those LAN ports is remappable to a WAN so that we could have failover, which we will be testing. With IDS and IPS turned on or suspicious activity, we could do up to 1.5 gigabit per second routing and that we will also test out. Now on the front of the Gateway Max, we don't have the LCD screen like you would see with any of the other Unify Cloud consoles. It just has a little LED on the front that shows us either blue or white. Blue means it's adopted into a controller and white means it's not adopted into a controller. Next, before we get this set up, let's take a look at my network topology. And this is the topology that we'll be working with. The Gateway Max is at the top and we have two different WAN connections going in. WAN 1 is a 3 gig by 3 gig connection and WAN 2 is a 1 gig by about 40. Below that, we're going to be connecting to an aggregation pro switch and then we'll be going to a 24 port Pro Max Ether Lighting PoE switch. I do have some other switches that aren't shown on here and I will have my PC directly connected to the Gateway Mac so that we could get it up and running. Now, since I'm using the official hosting from Unify, we need to go to unify.ui.com and I need to purchase that. You could see on the right hand side, I've selected the display options and I've selected official hosting and there's this plus icon beside it. I'm going to click that. Now we have a couple different options. We could have $39 a month for up to 100 devices, or we could do $129 a month for up to 1,000 devices. We're just going to be doing the $39 a month because this really is just for testing. The instance name, I'll call it Gateway Max. I'm going to agree to the terms and then we're going to press confirm and this will bring me to the payout section. The Gateway Max is now plugged into my internet and my LAN. I had to statically assign this PC to the 192.168.1.x network as the Gateway Max will default at 192.168.1.1. So the initial setup, we need to go to a web browser or you could use the Unify network app on your phone. We're just gonna use the computer as it's a little easier to see. The device name is the UXG Max. We could see we could use the Unify mobile app or if we have a local controller like the cloud key, we could click to adopt. They also have manually connect to a Unify network. If we click on this, it's the cloud key or a self-hosted instant. What I'm going to do, I'm going to hit next. Now it's asking us to sign into our single sign-on. Once I do this, it's going to search for cloud instances under my account. Now we can see all the different cloud instances under my account, and we're going to be going with this first one, the Gateway Max. We'll click on it, then we'll press next. Now it's connected to the official hosting we can manage from unify.ui.com. You can now see all of my devices within my hosted controller, but I should have done this a little bit of a different way. I had a backup from my UDM Pro Max, the network controller. I should have loaded that first and then brought the UXG Max into the controller as it was going to be handing out the IPs. But anyways, we are now up and running. So let's go over to the dashboard and we're going to test our internet connectivity because I have a three gig by three gig connection. And for the speed test, we're getting 2.2 gigs down and for upload, we're getting 1.1 up. Now I ran a speed test over on my Mac mini and it's only giving us 924 down and 930 up even though it's showing that it's negotiating at 2.5 gigabits per second. So the maximum for our iPerf test will be about a gigabit down and a gigabit up. So let's run one to a public iPerf server. Now we are getting 927 megabits per second through the iPerf and this is with our suspicious activity turned off. Let's turn it on and see what we get. One other good thing about the UXG Max is on the suspicious activity, we have the full feature set as if it was a UDM Pro Max, the UDM SE or the UDM Pro. So we have 35 different categories and we're gonna turn them all on 
In traffic or device identification, we're going to also turn on. And for this iPerf test, we're getting 928 megabits per second. So I would assume that this is capable of hitting that 1.5. If you have done this testing, let me know down in the comments below. The next thing we're going to test is the WAN failover. So I'm going to ping google.ca T and let this run. I'll have to run down to the basement, unplug WAN 1, and we'll see when I get back how long that took to do. So I'm going to run down right now. Now on the right hand side, you could see that WAN 1 is unplugged. And if we scroll up, we could see one packet that was dropped, but it's showing that we had no loss. So that was a very quick failover. Who is the Gateway Max for? Well, it would be for small deployments to mid-sized deployments looking for 2.5 gigabit routing capabilities. Ubiquiti has just put the USG and the USG Pro 4 to legacy mode, meaning that it's end of life. So you're gonna want to upgrade to something like the Gateway Max or the Gateway Lite. With the Gateway Max, I wish they did add a couple PoE ports so that we could power some new access points off of that, like the U6 Enterprise or the U7 Pro. In the past couple of months, Ubiquiti has released a ton of new gear. So we just got the new UDM Pro Max. We have the UDM SE. We have the UDM Pro. We have the Gateway Lite. We have the Gateway Max. We have the Unify Express and the Cloud Gateway Ultra. So if you'd like to see a video comparison about these, because it could get a little bit confusing, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.